Well, good morning, and thank you for being at New Hope Community Church today. I am so glad you chose this as your place of worship this morning. I am sorry that I can't be with you, but I'm all the way on the East Coast, almost to Canada, enjoying the beautiful fall colors that God has created for us to enjoy. But thank you for being here. I hope you enjoy the service. If you are a guest today, there are some communication cards in the pew in front of you. I would love for you to fill one out, and you can do one of two things with that card. You can either drop it in the offering when it comes by in a little while, or hold on to it until service is over. Go to the welcome booth out on the front porch of the church, turn it in there. They're gonna give you a free book. You get a choice of uh, a free gift. And if you need a Bible, we are happy to give to you uh, a free Bible. But thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoy the day. It may seem a long way off, but it's time for our kids to prepare for the Christmas musical. And this year it's cake. <laughs> Not that kind of cake. C-A-K-E, Christmas Acts of Kindness Experiment. So if you had kids aged five through sixth grade, they could participate in this wonderful musical. There's great music and there's some fun parts for the kids to play. The performance will be on December 15th in the evening, but the rehearsal start today during the 11 o'clock service in the office classroom. We hope to see your kids up on stage this Christmas. Man, it's not too late to sign up for Man Camp. That runs October 25th through the 27th up at Camp Edison at Shaver Lake. $25 will get you two nights of camping, great food, a camp t-shirt, and good fellowship. So if you haven't joined yet, go to the welcome booth and sign up. We hope to see you up there. We have a special opportunity this Christmas. Two of the Christmas trees that will be on our stage are going to be decorated by you. And here's the way that works. You can purchase an ornament it's called a memory ornament. You can get two lines, three lines, or four lines written on that ornament and remember a loved one. You see, Christmas is all about love, remembering the love of Jesus Christ for us, remembering our love for family. And if there is a family or a friend that you'll be missing this Christmas and you would like to honor them, you can purchase an ornament, have their name put on it. Those ornaments are gonna decorate two of our Christmas trees on stage this year. And when Christmas is over, you get to take those ornaments home and they'll be yours. I trust that you'll take the form either in your bulletin or in the foyer in the back of the church. Fill it out, turn them in. We only have 220 ornaments to use this year. Thank you so much. Have a great day.